Hello everybody, I want to show you this epic sorting system I made. It's so easy to make and it uses a router and people have been having trouble using routers because they do have a bug uh, with one of their upgrades that people are trying to use for this. But I finally found out, I, I've, I created this system that will sort, not only sort the item's barrels, that's not, that's not hard to do, but it also will handle any other item that you put into it and it'll put it into this chest in the middle and um it's flawless i mean you never get you never get any of these items that are supposed to be in barrels in this chest because normally like the problem people have is that you have all these barrels set up to this router and you also have a chest set up um if you put for example if i put bread into the sorter and it would it would if it would search for the all the valid destinations and it would find the bread barrel and it would find the chest that's at the end trying to collect all the items that don't go into barrels what would happen is it would detect both the valid destinations and it would split the item stack evenly between the two destinations so this system works around that um, what basically the way it works is once if you put an item in the router that's not supposed to be in a barrel for example here's the ones that do go in barrels you can see you just put them in and they go instantly they get sorted out and they get put into their barrels. But if you put something that doesn't doesn't have a, a barrel, it will be stuck there for a second because it's a clog. But I also, I have a way to pull these out if it's been clogged for a while. So that's how, and then it knows, well, if it's been clogged, pull those out, put it into the, the, the extra output barrel. So this, this fixes the, a lot of problems that people have been having so let me show you how it works um, over up here is the way in it's not very complicated this ender chest is just it's hooked up to the to the output of my ore processor and it also takes in output from scrap boxes and anything else I put into my ender pouch um, it'll all go to the processor basically like the universal processor this is the output so I need to expect any item in the, in the game to go into this ender chest and I need to handle every single one. So what happens, this timer, every five seconds, it pulses this filter, it's going to pull out the first stack of items. It'll feed it into the router, and if it has a barrel, let me just demonstrate with a torch, put a torch in here, it'll pull it out when the, when the timer pulses, and into the router and sorted into the barrels. So, if you put, for example, I'll just do dirt again. If you put dirt in, it will obviously get stuck because there's no barrel. So when it gets stuck, these pistons push one, they, they will pulse once every once in a while, but they, they only pulse at the right times. You can't have them running constantly. So, then this would be sorted back out, then they turn back off. Now, the way I do the timing for the redstone engines is that every second pulse of the of the timer they toggle on and then they turn off once. So basically, you can see if you put in an item that's that's correct. Let me just put a bunch of these so you can see. Um, one that actually has a barrel. The the redstone engines are pulsing anyways. So see they they pulse anyways, but if it's an item that's going to be sorted this inventory will be empty. See, it empties out, these things pull. If the item was a good item, then it's not pulled out by the engines. But if it's a bad item, then it will be pulled out. So it's that's how, that's how it handles it. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's kind of hard to explain it. If basically, if there's a clog, these things will take care of it. And they're gonna try to take care of it even if there's no clog, because they, they don't know the difference. But, um, the, and also, the only other thing to explain is that all these barrels are connected to each other. Um, see, this wall, touch, the router's touching this wall, and then in order for it to detect the other barrels, I have to have another barrel connecting them. I just have a cobblestone barrel and another one to connect all the walls. And finally, this one. So all these, it's just one router that, that feeds into all the barrels. I don't know if I already mentioned this, but I gave this thing the upgrades 
speed boost and bandwidth. Now the thoroughness upgrade, which is what is supposed to be fixing this problem, it's supposed to fill all the it's supposed to fill one machine or barrel before moving on to the next, which is what would fix the problem. You'd be able to probably just put a chest at the end of a big wall and it would do all this work for you. But the thoroughness upgrade is buggy right now, so this is my workaround. Um, and I might I might be able to just take all this extra stuff out later. But I, I kind of like this barrel, this chest in the middle. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully that made sense. Just let me know if you have any questions, and I'll try to explain it. Let me go back over here so you can see. Actually, I'll explain the redstone. Timer, toggle latch, redstone goes up, and these have to be, I just turn them on at the same time with redstone torches, and the re the wire just splits and goes to both. Uh, that's it. So, oh, also, make sure that the length of this, this wire, or I mean pipe, is the right length where when something is actually a proper item that's going to be sorted into a barrel reaches this the router, it's not going to be pulsing the redstone engines at the right time at the same exact time where it's going to pull out the the items that should be sorted. You you want to make sure that these are only pulsing when there's actually a clog, or when there wouldn't be a clog when it's a good item. You know, and if if you want just to in case you didn't already know, these things pull items out when they actually reach the peak and right when they right right there at the peak when they switch directions that's when they pulse and pull stuff out and that's when this should be empty if it's a proper item that should be sorted hopefully that makes sense anyways i think i'm probably just repeating myself now hopefully it's hopefully it's understandable and i hope you guys enjoyed and if you liked it watch check out my other minecraft videos I will see you next time.